Why do you always treat me as though I am different? Because you are. You said your father's English. I am a bastard. My name is Philippe Charbonneau. The Marquis de Lafayette. Some deference is due the Prime Minister of England. Well, I do not give a damn who you are. <laughs> Shall take you for striking a man's apart. Ah, is it your first time? You have been unbelievably kind to me, sir. I can do no less for a marked man. Here's a present from the man you made. French countryside of Auvergne, but his heritage would call him down a high road of adventure, adventure for which he was bred, a destiny to which he was born. His birthright was secured by a legal document in his father's own hand, a letter that proved he was the illegitimate son of an English duke. But the document was not safe in England, nor was his life. His father's legitimate son realized Philippe would inherit half the wealth of the estate called Kentland, and determined Philippe would never live that long. An affair with his brother's betrothed deepened the hostility between the heirs, and Philippe fled from his father's estate to seek shelter in London. Learning the printer's trade and hearing of a new land in which he might start a business of his own from a famous American, Benjamin Franklin, Philippe Charbonneau left Europe with his mother and sailed westward toward that new land and toward a new life. But Philippe would begin that life alone. And knowing not every man has the opportunity to be born again, he vowed to make the most of it. He took a new name, a name that linked him with his past, but pointed him toward a future he could forge for himself. He was a man like so many others who came before him and after. A man coming to America to be an American. A man called Philip Kent. Rocks and shoals, eh, lad? Sir? I see you come through in love. Uh, I was just wondering, sir, if he were in the right car. You know, which way to go? About what? Work? Hey, uh... Well, should have thought of that before you shipped, lad. I don't know anybody in town that's looking for help. This is WGN Television Chicago, serving Channel 9 viewers 24 hours a day.
WGN Television presents the sweeping epic of an amazing family living in the turbulent times that began the American nation. Andrew Stevens, Patricia Neal, Lorne Green, and William Shatner had an all-star cast in part one of John Jake's towering bestseller, The Bastard. For most of my life, not knowing who I am, but if I fathered a child, a child will never know the doubts that I have known. Why do you always treat me as though I am different from everyone else? Because you are. How, my master, you plumber, when you bring me his head? Bring me his head in a basket. Ahead of you lies the new world, the new life. Why do you always treat me as though I am different? Because you are. You said your father's English. I am a bastard. My name is Philippe Charbonneau. The Marquis de Lafayette. Some deference is due the Prime Minister of England. Well, I do not give a damn who you are. <laughs> They'll take you for striking a man's apart. Ah, is it your first time? You have been unbelievably kind to me, sir. I can do no less for a marked man. Here's a present from the man you named. feature will return in a moment. Now, here are some scenes from tomorrow night's feature, The Conclusion of the Bastard. A man is free to rise as far and as fast as his wits and wisdom will permit. You have been unbelievably kind to me, sir. I can do no less for a marked man. Now, look carefully at the next flash. Still want to take up with us Americans? From now on, I am Philip Kent. Hi, Mr. Kent. So be it. <laughs> Andrew Stevens, Patricia Neal, and Lauren Green had an all-star cast in the exciting conclusion of John Jake's bestseller, The Bastard, tomorrow night at 11 on TV9. We will return to tonight's feature, The Bastard, after these messages.